Hello everyone, today we are going to pick right where we left off in part 1. We are going to establish one connectivity and for that we are going to call for help to our friendly dynamic routing protocol. On dashboard I have marked OSPF areas as well as IP addressing on interfaces so it is easier to follow what we are doing. This is going to be OSPF multi-area configuration so we will have more things to play with and space for future builds. Without further ado, let's get started on our router 2. I'm going to show you on this router how to configure IP addresses on interfaces. For rest of the routers, follow the scheme which I described on board and finish the IP address configuration by yourself. Just like you see in description, the interface Gigabit Ethernet 3.0 will have IP address 10.100.0.6.30. 30 bits in subnet mask means that we will have two available IP addresses to use and that is perfect for point-to-point -point links. When you are finished with assigning IP address, do not forget to type no shutdown because by default Cisco router have interfaces down. For interface Gigabit Ethernet 1.0 I am going to use 24 bit subnet mask. To verify configuration you can use show IP interface brief. You can pause video now and finish off IP addressing on rest of the routers. Now we are ready to proceed with OSPF configuration. Type in command router OSPF1 and first I am going to define router ID. Following pattern area number in first octet and router number in last octet. Next we can start adding network commands. And let me pause here for a second. In Cisco, when defining what is going to be advertised, wildcard mask is used. In translation you tell the router, look at here, look at here, look at here and I don't care which means all interfaces matching 10.100.0 will start sending hello packets in defined area. Our next network statement is going to be special, because by defining different area, we just have created ABR. ABRs are used for interconnecting other areas to the back mode. Other than that, they are also capable of summarization. For now, we are done on router 2. Let's save config and move to the router 3. On router 3, the configuration will be quite simple. We will be able to define everything with just one command. Of course, don't forget to specify a router ID and then you can add network statement. Just like you see, our first neighbor relationship just popped out. And with that we are done on router 3. On router 1 we will have more things to do. 
I want to configure router 1 as versatile as possible, simply because when you change location, your lab will have certain level of adaptation and it is going to work without need of changing anything. As you can see on interface Gigabit Ethernet 2.0, we have IP address assigned by DHCP. And the first thing which I'm going to do here is configuration of network address translation. Just follow me. Part of the NAT config is creation of access list, which besides other things is identifying traffic and for obvious reasons I am going to call it NAT. And for now my statement is going to be any, which means all. And our final statement for NAT configuration is going to be IP NAT inside source list NAT interface gigabit ethernet to slice zero overload, which means multiple addresses to one translation. Next I am going to configure static route with all zeros, which means everything, finishing with DHCP, which will tell router use gateway from DHCP obtained on gigabit interface to slice zero. Next step is configure OSPF. Router ID will be 0001 following with network statement which will tell router advertise on all interfaces. And with that our neighbor relationship is formed with the other routers, but in same time keep in mind that in real world usually we don't want to send hello packets towards ISP. In lab we don't want to flood our home router either with unnecessary hello packets. Therefore, set up interface to slash zero as passive. And final thing in our OSPF configuration is to advertise default route with command default dash information originate. Ok, save config and now we are ready to configure 40 gates. Commands on FortiGate will be obviously different, but the concept is the same. Let's quickly check brief description of our interfaces. You can do that with command edit question mark. First let's assign IP address on our port 1. Follow the scheme described on the dashboard. Once IP address is assigned, you can start configuring OSPF on FortiGate. Just like on Cisco routers, start with the router ID. Next define area. and define OSPF interfaces on which you are going to advertise.
For similar reasons like on router 1, we don't want to send hello packets towards our LAN. It also opens potential for security breach. Therefore, interface VLAN 10 will be set as passive. While defining networks, which we are going to advertise, unlike Cisco IOS, FortiGate is using subnet mask instead of wildcard mask. With that, simple configuration of OSPF on FortiGate 2 is finished, so we can now verify settings. And because configuration on FortiGate 1, with the exception of IP address and router ID, will be same, you can copy almost entire OSPF configuration into clipboard. And now let's jump to FortiGate 1. Assign IP address on port 1, starting with set mode static. In OSPF configuration, configure router ID first and then paste rest of the config from the clipboard. To verify configuration, simply type show. Then with the command end confirm changes. And right after that, notice we have been kicked out of the admin session because FortiGate was able to validate license and that also means it is able to reach out internet. We can verify that with pinging Google DNS and sure enough we are getting there. To see adjacent OSPF neighbors, you can type in command get router info OSPF neighbor. And just as expected, router 2 and FortiGate 1 is there. Same thing can be done on Cisco side. You can type in command show IP OSPF neighbor. With one connectivity established and license validated, we should be able to configure FortiGate from GUI as well, so let's take a look. Alright, that's it for today, see you in next video.